Good morning. 4.45 on a Tuesday. Time to get back into routine, back on track, and have an amazing leg day. Let's get it. It is hitting today. Good freaking morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amelie, and we're going to the gym. It's 5 a.m., and we're hitting legs. Also, sorry if I sound a little bit weird. I'm Yesterday, I was feeling a little bit sick. Today, we're feeling a lot better, but my voice just hasn't really recovered. For those of you who don't know, I was just in Santa Barbara this weekend visiting my boyfriend who is in college and it was so much fun like I had such an amazing time but I got a little bit thrown out of routine you guys know just like when you're traveling you don't really have access to your own food your own gym just your overall routine gets thrown out of whack like I wasn't waking up early I just wasn't doing the little things that make me feel my best. So even though I was still like working out and relatively hitting my protein goals through like protein bars and stuff, I just don't feel my best. Then I came home on Sunday and I was just so tired because I had to take the bus to get there. I came home, I wasn't really like on my nutrition because I was just too tired to like make any like healthy full meals and I was craving cookies so of course we honored those cravings but then the next day I had school I had to wake up pretty early so just like overall yesterday even though if you guys have been watching me for a while you know my saying never miss a Monday oh wow we missed Monday <laughs> like it was my rest day so I didn't even move my body I didn't really eat three meals at home they were more like snacks and they were not very healthy and I just really did not take care of my nutrition or do actions that helped me towards my goals and overall that just really frankly made me feel like shit so today it's a Tuesday it is never too late to start chasing your goals you don't have to wait till the next Monday we're doing it all on a Tuesday but we are going to the gym we're going to be making three meals a day at home eating lots of protein we're going to be productive, we're gonna get our homework done. We're really just kind of resetting for the week, getting back on track with life, getting back on track with our goals, and doing the things that I know are gonna make me feel my best. Also, last night, like you guys know, the night routine is just as important as your morning routine, and I get a lot of questions that are like, Amelie, how are you awake at 4.30 in the morning? And the answer is, have a good night routine. I'm not waking up this early if I'm staying up till 2 a.m. watching TikTok. So last night I went to bed around 10, 15. So we got a good like six and a half hours of sleep, but I also took a nap yesterday. So I'm feeling wide awake. I also have a Celsius, which is such an important part of just having a fun morning overall and like really romanticizing your life, at least for me. Like, as soon as I stop vlogging, the music is going on, we are blasting it, I'm gonna drink this, and really hype myself up for my workout. So, that's what the morning is looking like, that's what the day is looking like, that's everything that I wanna accomplish. Today's vlog is a day in my life, like I said. I also wanna show you guys how I manage going to the gym, doing school, getting my homework done, and a social life if I feel like it. But also that being said, during the school week, I don't really hang out with friends that much. It kind of just depends. I think today I am though. But also now that Grant is down in Santa Barbara, I have a lot more free time because I'm not hanging out with him. So, yay for long distance. Anyways, it's time to work out. I'm gonna drink this, jam out to some music, and we're gonna have an amazing workout.
6.30 on the dot. Workout is complete. Today's workout, I did a lot of cardio because I just felt like it. I was really craving it. And yesterday, like I said, I really wasn't on track with my nutrition at all. I definitely... Sorry. I definitely feel like I overate. I felt very full, groggy. Like, guys, I told you guys my nutrition, we were not on point, and we all have those days. Honestly, I did feel a little bit guilty. I don't want to lie to you guys ever. I want to be, like, completely transparent, and we all have days where we just don't feel the best about our choices, and yesterday was definitely one of those days. And to combat that, Rather than restricting or like doing excessive cardio, we had a killer workout and we're gonna be really on track with our nutrition for the rest of the week and going forward because that's what makes me feel my best. That being said, I did do some extra cardio just because I knew that would make me feel better. When you feel puffy, which is what happens to me when I eat like a lot of gluten or, or just like when I eat a lot of foods that I'm not necessarily used to eating, I get really puffy and something that helps me with that is sweating it out. So I ended up doing like a two mile incline walk and then I didn't do a super long leg day, but I did do a pretty heavy leg day, at least for me. Recently, my workouts have been changing a little bit because I love doing HIIT workouts with lighter weights, but at the same time, lifting heavy and pushing myself I noticed has also been making me feel really good and my muscles have been feeling just like very full and I've just been feeling really good so I've been trying to kind of incorporate my running with my HIIT workouts and lifting heavy so today was definitely a heavier day and that's something that I wanted to talk about really quick because on days where you feel like you overeat or you maybe indulged a little bit extra or you just were on top of your nutrition the next day, don't feel guilty. Just have a really good workout and hit the muscle group that you want to grow. Because at the end of the day, food is fuel. No matter how much food you have, your body is going to use that food to fuel your goals. So today, I did a glute-focused leg day because I'm trying to grow my glutes while staying relatively lean. But on days where I know that I have that extra fuel and that extra food in my system, I use it to hit a glute day so that all of that extra fuel goes to my glutes. But then the second thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is the different stages of life that I'm in and why I'm feeling super, super excited for fall. Because usually I am like a full on summer girl. Like I usually try to cling on to summer. I'm like wearing shorts all the way into October. Like it's just summer, summer, summer. But for whatever reason, this season I'm so excited for fall and I think it's just because I always feel the most productive during the fall months I always feel so much more motivated to study it's so much easier for me to get to bed early having a routine is just so easy because with like school and going to the gym and doing homework it's so much easier to romanticize doing all that in fall like lighting candles wearing cozy outfits stuff like that whereas when it's like super hot outside and nice and sunny rather than studying i feel like i'm wasting my day if i spend any time indoors and i always want to like be out in the sun which is great but it's kind of hard to like balance tanning and doing homework so i'm just like really excited for fall I'm already in the cozy mood i've been wearing leggings and hoodies even though it's like 80 degrees like i'm literally just so ready for fall especially now that starbucks launched their fall drinks mentally it's october already and honestly it's not even that early like it's almost september which i live in california so september i would still consider like a summer month because it's still like a high of 80 every day but i feel like september october november those are like the fall months and honestly november is basically christmas so that's kind of the part of life that i'm really looking forward to and with that i think that you have different phases of life where you're really leaning more into balance and then there's different times in your life where you're leaning more into discipline and at least for me the summer months are very balanced and i am a lot more flexible with my workouts my nutrition i'm hanging out with friends a lot more we're sleeping in and that's amazing that's so fun like it's such an important part of life in summer and just like having a good time but I'm really ready for fall and a more disciplined time in my life because 
that's what I know makes me feel my best when I have like a really structured routine and I'm being really productive, I'm getting lots of good sleep, getting to bed early, really being on track with my food, that's a big one because in the summer months, like I said, I'm very flexible with my nutrition, which again, super fun, we love spontaneous ice cream trips, but it doesn't always make me feel my best, and I'm really ready to just feel good and feel confident in my routines, which is why I'm so excited for fall. Like I said, I was just traveling this entire weekend, so obviously I was really thrown out of routine, so I think that I'm extra excited for fall because I know that it's gonna be a time where I'm very structured, very disciplined, and really just like having a solid routine. So I'm super, super excited for fall. I'm just super ready to be cozy, be structured, be disciplined, be balanced, feel good, feel confident, just like all of those things. Because for me, I've talked about this before in a lot of my other videos, but real confidence, it's not about what you look like. It's not about what you're wearing. It's about being confident in yourself from the inside and being confident in the decisions that you are making for your life and for your lifestyle. Because those decisions at the end of the day reflect how you look, how you feel, how you act, how much money you have, all of those things that, that people think make you confident. So like, yes, you're confident confidence comes from how you look, for example, but at the end of the day, it's not really how you look, it's the decisions that you are making, like say going to the gym, eating healthy, that are at the end of the day affecting how you look. That was a little bit of a tangent, I hope that you guys understood what I'm trying to say, but I'm really just looking forward to a more disciplined season of life, I'm really leaning into all of the fall vibes, the cozy sweaters, the cozy study vibes, like Really, we're just feeling cozy, we're feeling disciplined, and just so excited for spooky season. So I'm really welcoming September. I'm letting go of summer, and I'm very excited to get like the school year rolling and just really have a really strong routine. Now that I'm back from my traveling, like I'm gonna be home for a while, so I feel like I can really build on my routine, habit stack, just like do the things that are gonna make me feel my best, also been like cleaning out my closet, also working on replacing certain items in my closet and like getting more sustainable clothes from sustainable brands. Like I'm really just trying to set myself up for success in all areas of my life. This fall, um, I saw on TikTok, someone said we're having a fit girl fall, which you guys know is so true for me. So that's what we're gonna call it, fit girl fall. Thank you to TikTok for inspiring that because that is what we're having. We are doing all of the things. We're gonna be our best selves this fall and I'm ready for it. So thank you for giving me company on the drive home because now I'm home. I'm gonna go inside and make a healthy breakfast. I honestly didn't sweat that much so I don't think that I'm gonna shower. Something weird about me is I really don't sweat that much and I don't know if it's because I'm not pushing myself hard enough or if I just don't sweat very easily, but I feel like I've never been much of a sweater, so we're probably not gonna shower, but I'm gonna get ready for school, catch up with you guys in a little bit. Excuse the dirty mirror, but this is the little outfit of the day. I'm wearing these white cargos from Princess Polly, and then this brown long sleeve from Zara. Like I said, giving very transitional to fall. I also did my makeup, slicked my hair back because I ended up not showering, like I said, but I slicked my hair back at the gym, so I already had wax in it, so I just redid it and I kept a ponytail. I showed you guys my breakfast. I had a yogurt bowl, which was so good, lots of protein. Greek yogurt is one of my favorite ways to get protein that's not from meat. It has 18 grams of protein per serving. I also filled up my water bottle. I've been drinking four of these a day. And I don't really like drinking regular water, which is like really bad. So I put in like flavoring drops, which makes all the difference. I can literally drink four of these easily because it tastes good. Each of these is 32 ounces. So four of these is a gallon a day, which I didn't even think was possible. Like I did not ever think that I would be someone to say that they drink a gallon of water a day. But I will say I've been doing it for about two weeks consistently and I feel like my skin has been glowing so much extra. So this is your sign and your reminder to drink your water and drink more of it because you will feel the difference. But I will say I have been peeing like crazy. But we're all ready for the day. We hit a killer workout. We had a healthy high protein breakfast. We have a good start on our water. And now it is 7.15, so I have to go to school. And it just feels so amazing to know that the, my workout is already out of the way and done because now when I get back from school, I can focus on my homework 
and my social life instead of also having to try to squeeze in a workout. So let's go to school. So we're with Eden and we are currently in tutorial and this is how we are productive and I get a lot of my homework done because we basically get like 45 minutes just to work on whatever you want during class. So right now we are doing our AP stats, stats homework. homework. So many questions. Look at all of this. Instead of having to do this later when I get home from school, I'm just gonna do it during school to save time and we do it together because everything is easier. When together you. and we're both rocking the slick back looks yep. today <laughs> we were just synced up like that but yeah <laughs> so we're gonna do homework that way i can get it out of the way we're in macro and we have the best class this is the squad and i got almost all of my homework done Okay, I'm back from school. You guys just saw I made myself lunch. I'm lucky enough to have two off periods, so I get out of school every day at 12.15. So rather than like packing a whole lunch and bringing it to school, I'll just come home and eat. So I made myself this massive salad. You guys know I love high volume foods. I put cucumbers, tomatoes, salsa, avocados for healthy fats, chicken for protein. I also put in some cheese. So we have all the good stuff in there. So I'm going to eat that. And then I also have this cup. It kind of looks like pea, not going to lie, but it's vitamin C because I feel like I'm starting to get sick and I'm trying to get rid of it. So we are making sure that we are supporting our immune system. So I'm going to drink and eat this, and then while I'm drinking and eating this, I'm going to start my homework because I got a lot of it done at school, which is really, really helpful when it comes to like the work-life balance, but I also have a few YouTube videos to edit, and I also have a little bit of extra homework that I just got assigned. So I'm going to start doing my homework, and I get a lot of questions about like how I manage everything and how I make sure that I'm not stressed out about school and also how I achieve my fitness goals, my health goals, my school goals, maintain straight A's, stuff like that. And honestly, not procrastinating is the biggest tip that I have. Like, I already got my workout out of the way first thing in the morning. So right now, after school, I don't even have to worry about it because it's already done. And then now, as soon as I get back from school, I'm doing all the homework that was assigned to me, no matter how long it takes. Since it's still kind of the beginning of the school year, I don't have that much homework. But towards, like, final season, when homework really starts picking up and I have a lot more studying to do, I tend to cap my homework and studying around 6 p.m. because I just like to have that balance and know that boundary of, like, having a social life and not overworking working myself but I know that this is only gonna take me like an hour so rather than like procrastinating and like pushing it off to the weekend or something I'm just gonna do it now as soon as it's assigned and then I'm not gonna stress about it later so I'm gonna go do my homework and I'm also feeling a little bit tired so I think that after I finish my homework I'm probably gonna end up taking a nap which is another thing that I've been really loving recently which I used to hate because it just felt so like unproductive but I realized that when I wake up early no matter what time I went to bed I just feel so much better like getting my workout in the morning is just life-changing for me So even if I only got like six hours of sleep the night before I'll still wake up really early And then I will take a nap later and I know it's not the same equivalent of sleep because it's like the depth of sleep that you get changes But it still makes me feel a lot better So I've been napping recently and it's been a big game changer So I'm gonna eat this, drink my vitamin C, finish my homework, take a nap, and then I will catch up with you guys in probably two hours. And for reference, it is currently around 1 p.m. Also, quick water check-in. We are on Stanley Cup number two of the day, so we are half a gallon in. It's been about an hour and for whatever reason I just like hit a wall I'm tired I just kind of found myself not able to focus anymore and usually I'm pretty good at focusing but for whatever reason today after an hour of doing straight work it's 
two o'clock I just like can't focus anymore and at least for me when it comes to like studying and being productive and getting things done knowing when I've like reached my limit is really important because an hour of quality work with a break and then another hour of quality work will get you so much more done and such higher quality of work done than say three hours of just like forcing yourself to grind and you can't even focus so instead of like forcing myself to keep working, I'm just gonna take a break, give myself some phone time. Maybe I'm gonna take a nap right now, I'm not really sure, but I'll probably chill for about 30 minutes to an hour and then I'll get right back to work. But I just wanted to talk to you guys about that because I really believe that when you hit a wall, you just have to respect that, give yourself a break and then come back to it because forcing yourself to keep going when mentally you're already checked out, it's just not productive. So sometimes not being productive is the most productive thing for you. And then you'll be super productive after you give yourself that permission to just chill out, not be productive and come back to it later. The hair is looking a little bit crazy. I woke up from my nap about an hour ago, I wanna say. Honestly, it wasn't the best nap. My nose is kind of stuffy still, so whatever. But I still feel well rested, so that's good. It is now 4.56 and I just spent the past hour, I would say, writing my college apps, which if you guys are seniors in high school, you know the struggle. Definitely am far from finished, but the way that I like to approach things is taking things bit by bit and day by day so college apps are due i think sometime in november and it's only august 29th so rather than like pushing it off and then doing it all at once and being stressed about it basically i just say that i'm going to work on it for about 30 minutes a day three to four times a week and then hopefully when the time comes to submit i'll be all ready and it shouldn't have been stressful so I just worked on one of my UCPIQs, so I can cross that off. I had my whole to-do list written out for the day, and as you can see, we've made a pretty good dent. This one, I don't even have to do, and then I'm gonna edit this vlog right now. With that being said, like I mentioned, all about balance. It's already five, and I'm capping my like work and homework at six, because that is me time, that is downtime, that is the time that I like to go on a walk with my mom and like my family, and just chill and have a nice relaxing evening. I also like to work in like chunks like I mentioned. So I was reaching brain fatigue, so we took a break. Then I came back, I worked on my college essays. Boom, cross that off. Now, before I go straight into editing this vlog, I'm gonna give myself another brain break. So I'm literally just gonna sit here, scroll my phone, drink my water because I haven't made a dent in it since we last checked in on that. So that's not good. I'm a little bit behind on the water today, but I'm still determined to drink a gallon of water. So it's only five. We have two more of these to go. We can do it. But that's kind of just how I approach like studying and attacking my to-do list and really just making sure that I'm productive and not burning out. So I'm gonna take my little break, keep working, and then I'll catch up with you guys when we are doing something a little bit more interesting. It is now 6.20, we are downstairs. I'm snacking on some carrots and then I also had a protein bar earlier. We are on Stanley Cup number three, so we're making very good progress. I'm just hanging out with my family. My mom is making dinner. I think we're gonna go on a walk in a little bit. This would also be the time that if I like wanted to hang out with my friends or something, I could do that now. But because I'm feeling like a little bit sick, I just don't wanna give anyone anything just in case I have it. So I'm not like gonna go over to anyone's house or anything. So we're gonna have a pretty chill night this evening. But now I'm officially done with the like school work portion of my life. And this is the time where I really focus on my social life and family time. And we also might watch a TV show later. So now it is time to relax, eat dinner, and have a nice little evening. Just got back from a walk with my mom. It was so nice. We walked two miles and then I also walked two miles at the gym this morning. So boom, right there, 10,000 steps for the day. Feeling great. I'm on my last Stanley Cup. This is number four, but honestly, we might go for five tonight. 
and right now we are on the way to go to yogurt land and get some frozen yogurt it is 8 p.m. and I would like to be in bed around 9 or 9.30 so we can wake up and do it all again. It is now 9.30, we are already for bed. I just did my skincare, brushed my teeth. I came back from frozen yogurt and honestly I was still a little bit hungry. So I ended up eating a protein bar and then I also had some chocolate chips and peanut butter, which is one of my favorite late time snacks. And something about me, you guys, is I cannot go to sleep if I'm hungry. So I will always eat at night, no matter what. Like I need a pre-bed snack. So that's what we did. Now it is 9.30, we're already for bed. Usually I would try to read in the evening, but honestly, I'm just feeling so tired. I just wanna let my body rest because the way that I approach like kind of feeling a little bit under the weather is if like I'm capable of working out, I will work out as long as I'm like not contagious or anything. So like tomorrow, I'm still gonna wake up at 4.30. We're still gonna go to the gym. So I just wanna make sure that I really let my body rest. So as soon as I end this vlog, we're going straight to bed, but on a normal day, I would try to read. I just didn't get to that today. Overall, I feel super, super good. I feel like I just had a really good routine today, and I got all my homework done. I also had a good balance of prioritizing family time and my social life. We're feeling really good. Now it is time for bed, but I'm super excited for this more like routined part of my life, and I'm really ready for fall and having a fit girl fall together. So make sure to like and subscribe so you guys can stay notified and just join the community and we can have a fit girl fall together also make sure to follow my other social media platforms they are Amelie Desai and Fit W Amelie I have Instagram Pinterest and TikTok I post pretty much daily and that's just an even better way to see all aspects of my life because I can only post one to two times a week on YouTube but I post daily on those platforms so thank you for coming through a day in my life pretty much a what I eat in a day minus some snacks but I still showed you guys a lot of like my nutrition choices and I hope that this gave you guys a good idea and maybe some inspiration of how to balance fitness school studying homework and also having some free time so with that I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one